Miko M8S Pro Plus and Pro L. What to do after you've taken off the heatsink. If you're getting overheating problems on a Pro Plus, that's this one, my favourite is a 22 by 22 by 15 or 16 mil heatsink. That lifts the lid by about two millimetres and that's plenty to, um, to cool it down and keep it nice and cool because the Pro Plus doesn't actually run too hot by much or it shouldn't do that's the other one if you don't want like the um, thought of lifting the lid by two millimeters um, a 22 by 22 by 10 millimeter heatsink is very nice and that'll improve things just a little bit um, and I'm now sticking things on with this thermal glue uh, I don't know whether you can see it it is HY910 thermal glue and it's very good because it spreads out very thinly so it works pretty well and it works about as well as the uh, arctic silver epoxy but it's not quite as permanent uh, and that's what you do with the pro plus now with the pro l i put on a bigger heatsink that's this one um, and then i added an air gap that's a two mil air gap and it reduced it a bit but it didn't really get it down to comfort levels now, one of these, but with 16 millimeter height, might have been a little bit better, but probably not much better either. So what I've decided to do in the end is put in one of the Pi 5 volt fans. Now, I, wasn't gonna I was gonna take the power from the USB, but it runs too fast, it makes a noise, and it, it cools it nicely, but it's probably a little bit much. So what I did in the end was I attached it elsewhere to 3.3 volts and I also because all the power in the box is not switched the fan runs all the time now at 5 volt it makes a noise and it's just well it's going to use a bit more power and whatever but at 3.3 volts it only uses about 50 milliamps when it's running and it runs at a really nice just the right speed to be silent and yet keep the thing cool and what I did was I put in a little tiny uh, sub miniature slide switch on the side here that uh, you can disable the fan as and when you want it and it fits in sub miniature slide switch and you can see it there and it fits in very really neatly two little m2 by 5 mil screws and that's beautiful that's the this on off switch now let's go backwards because i've already made this one up to see how it works and everything so we'll undo the four screws on the bottom you can see I've already done two of them take out the last one and there we go it drops out the bottom hopefully and it won't drop out there we go well it doesn't matter anyway so fan mounted in the top now I just used a little bit of 3m rubber foam double-sided tape now this is generic Chinese and there's also st stuff which is called 3m but it's a 3 and then a space and a little m and it's not really 3m it's generic Chinese again so you can choose what you want but it's a lot cheaper to buy the generic and it works absolutely perfectly for this sort of job uh, and you cut it obviously into little squares now I, I put on bigger squares and left some of the plastic on so I can do some changes if I need to and things like that but that's all you do just stick it to the lid the rubber in the foam actually provides enough gap for the airflow uh, to to go through and to force the air down onto the uh, onto the uh, heat sink standard heat sink over here you can see at the left here there's four little little pads and they are the UART uh, connections. So you got neg or ground and plus 3.3 volts at either end of those four pads. Um, and you just solder to those. And I've soldered the pos through this little switch over here. And the neg just comes around and goes up. And then on the fan, it's got a little red plug and I've just poked the wires into the socket if you tin the wires and slightly generously over tin them then it just plugs in really neatly and i've put a little bit of double-sided tape again just to try and hold them in 
And I think I might put a little bit more on than that because it looks like it could do with a little bit bigger bit. Um, and that's really all you have to do. I have put a couple of little slots in the lid. I don't know if you can see them there. Um, cut with a Stanley knife. That's one of those, which is exactly the same as a craft knife, really, but just a bit more expensive and more solid. Um, anyway, you just do that, put it back together, screw it down, and it automatically produces a two mil air gap all the way around. Uh, and it's brilliant because it keeps the temperature down nicely into the into sensible range. Um, and it's silent, and that is the main thing, and especially for me because I just hate fan noise. Um, and that's that's my now preferred method for cooling an M8S Pro L by Mecool. Okay, thank you very much.